hello everyone and welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing good so guys in the last video i unboxed the apple's usb super drive and also gave you guys a demo of how to burn uh, discs using it on my macbook and in today's video i'll be showing you how to configure your super drive to make it work with your windows pc or your laptop so i'll be using my hp laptop for today's video i'll just open it and show you guys so before connecting the super drive let me just show you the current discs and dvd drives so basically the c drive you see is my hard disk and the d drive is my internal dvd rom so let's just connect the external super drive with my laptop and let's see if the laptop recognizes this uh, dvd rom uh, or not without having any external drivers installed so I've connected it through the USB and as you can see it recognizes that we have connected a DVD drive but uh, it's not functional yet because we haven't installed the Apple drivers that are supposed to make this thing work. So before installing any drivers I'll just show you that it doesn't work currently. Uh, so for this I'll be using this uh, DVD disk. and. I'll try to insert in the super drive but it will not accept the disk because as I told you the drivers are not there so it should have pulled the disk from right there but it is not doing so so for that we have to install the drivers and to install the drivers just open any browser in, in my case I am using Microsoft's Edge and type in support.apple.com slash downloads so I'll put the link in the description and there will be a search box so just type in bootcamp support and click on the search button so the first result you'll see is most probably the uh, latest driver for it but you can just still compare it with others using the version number so click on download and the download should start immediately now this is a big file of around 520 megabytes so this may take a while to download I'll just speed up the process Okay, so now that the download is completed I'll just close the browser and minimize this window so you'll see this file right here just unzip it or extract it using any software that you have now that you have extracted all the files uh, from this archive uh, you'll see a folder of the extracted files just double click on it and you'll see a bootcamp folder just open that and there will be a drivers folder now you'll see various driver manufacturers here just click on apple and the driver that we need is this one the apple odd installer 64 bit so just open this file and you'll see an installation wizard after you open the file just in a second so this is the installation wizard just click on next and accept the agreement you can read it if you want so just click on next and it will install the drivers it will just take a few seconds to install it's not a big driver so as you can see uh, the driver name apple odd driver has been installed just click on finish and now this is the only driver that we need from this bootcamp support now after successful installation of this driver let's just test our uh, super drive again let me just get the uh, the disk the dvd that i tried to insert before now as you can see that the super drive just pulled the dvd inside now we can say that the drivers that we installed work correctly now we'll just have to wait and see if the super drive reads the disk or not Okay, as you can see on the screen the super drive is able to read the disk correctly now this is the same disk that I used for my last video uh, in which I burned this disk using a Mac 
so we can see that this super drive will work perfectly fine on your windows pc or laptop as it would work on a mac now for ejecting a disc all you need to do is right click on your dvd room and just click on the eject button and we'll see the disc pop out in just a few seconds just right there and the only problem that i have with this super drive is the lack of a physical uh, eject button to eject our discs manually other than that it's a really good product by apple so that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed it please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any query please write it in the comment box thank you